Uh, my name is Josh Behrman. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade science at an IB school called Lucille, Lucille Brown Middle School. Um, I've been teaching for four years. So I've been here for the last 10 days, I guess, and it's been a really, I've really enjoyed the experience. I, I, um, I love doing research. Um, I did a master's degree in marine science some years ago, and it's been a number of years since I've had the opportunity to just all I had to do was come here and learn and read and, and write and think. And it's a real luxury. I, I found it to be a real luxury. And on top of that, I'm meeting all of these amazing teachers who are, are masters in their craft, uh, who are also have that same interest. You know, this is, it's not something, it's not somewhere where you're gonna get skills on how to do better graphic organizers with your kids or, or you know, behavior management or something like that. This is, a, this is it's really about your, your content. And then what, they're trusting you as the education professional to know how to take that content and distill it and, and, or, or expand it for your kids. Well, you're not given that much time, or you don't have that much time in, you know, in the day, in the kind of the day-to-day -day of the school year to be trolling scientific journals, certainly. And, and many teachers don't have the training to, to, to even know what to do with those scientific journals, really. So all you have is your textbook, you know, and maybe you're on an email list or something like that that sends out blasts about, about new information. But many teachers, I, I think probably their, their understanding of their content kind of ends at undergrad. You know, and you go off and you get a master's degree in education, well that's really good for the for the the your profession, but it's not really helping your content at all. Um, so while we might keep up on best practices of, of teaching, we're not necessarily keeping up on the newest information out there. And especially in some of these fields, um, I'm a science teacher, so you know, especially in the fields of science, and uh, it's constantly changing and, and, and getting more in depth and more involved. And frankly, I teach middle school science, so, so much of what I am, have learned here, I'm not gonna get very deep into with my students, but I want to be able to answer their questions if they ask, you know. I like to have a, I like to have a deep knowledge of something, even if I'm only teaching a very shallow um, part of it, because I think they can tell the difference between if you're just really only repeating what's coming into the textbook and you don't know anything else, or if you, you have something more. And, and it's, it's not teacher's fault. It's not, it's not, it hasn't been a priority, I don't think, for teachers. I think the priority shifted to classroom management and the techniques required to get them to pass a test. So, um, so maybe that this program kind of really honors that, that the importance of, of teachers actually being deep content professionals. First of all, every teacher, whether they have a master's or a PhD, need updates in their content just to, just to be the best teacher they can be. So, so providing on a local scale so we don't have to travel. And it's not, I like the two week intensive thing very much, but I could also, I see the benefit of the eight week or however many weeks it is, 12 week um, local where you meet once a week, you're given a lot more time, it seems like, to try to ruminate uh, and to read, obviously, um, which is important. So, you, but you can, while you're, while you're teaching, while you're actually in the process of teaching, you can be learning new things about your content that you could, in theory, bring right back in your classroom the next week. Um, and obviously that's gonna benefit the students for the same way too. And just like we were talking earlier, when the students see that their teacher is also a learner, that's gonna, that's gonna, I think, help the, motivate the kids to, to want to know more as well. Um, it's gonna benefit the whole district because these teachers are going to presumably talk to their colleagues and share what they're learning, share that experience. And then from a, a strictly transactional point of view, everybody needs to get PD points. So why not get PD points for, for meaningful things? You know, instead of having to pick them up piecemeal here and there with these little basically sales pitches. You can, you can, you can make yourself a better professional, actually develop professionally and, um, and not have to go far from it and, and be connected. I mean, VCU in, in Richmond or that university or, or whatever university, 
the, all there's a few in, in in Richmond, and they're all institutions of the city. And they've been around a long time, and they have an effect on the populace. And the, both the teachers and the students know that they're there. They watch the sports teams. They you know they see the T-shirts. Um, so to have an affiliation with that, I think would would really it would make people proud, and it would it would it would make students more interested because a lot of our kids want to go to this or that college. And when they hear that you're taking a class there from some professor, that's just going to spark something in them.